Hi, David Campanile here, owner of Campanile Law, located in the state of New Jersey. We handle estate planning and probate. Today's topic is going to be about what I call the five red flags to look for when you're handling or uh, you're conducting an interview with an estate planning attorney. But before we dive into that, if you have any questions pertaining to estate planning or probate, and you want to schedule a free strategy session over the phone with me, head on over to njestateattorney.com to schedule a day and time that works best for you. So, these are kind of the five red flags that I have compiled with, uh, compiled over time of uh, what could show either a lack of professionalism, a lack of service, a combination of the two, or um, even the quality of care, uh, the quality of work that you're going to get done. So let's just start it off. Number one, the estate planning attorney uses a Gmail email address. And what I mean by that is, let's say it's attorney David at uh, gmail.com. Let's be honest, in today's world, this shows that this attorney did not take the time, the extra two or three minutes to go get a domain and set up an email address through their domain name. Or even on Gmail, you can have your business and make it attorney David at campaneolaw.com right there and pay Google for that. So this is number one. Since I started Campanile Law, it's always been David at campaneolaw.com. It always will be that way. Um, so this is something to look out for. It just it's that a t lack of attention to detail. That's what this shows to me. Number two is the estate planning attorney practices other areas of law. Uh, and what I mean by that is we do estate planning, but we handle bankruptcy, we handle real estate transactions, we handle uh, family law, uh, litigation, personal injury work. You are looking for an attorney one, uh, you are looking for an attorney that strictly does estate planning and probate work. There is so much information in estate planning and probate that if this is what, if an attorney is in another practice area or doing other things, that means they are not learning or have, don't have the time to learn all the intricacies and all the little details to make sure your estate planning experience and they are so up to date on everything. There are so many little intricacies with different trusts, with working with financial planners to ensure that, you know, the plan we are creating isn't going to adversely affect uh, a financial plan, which in turn is not going to adversely affect the, uh, the tax uh, and provide for a lot of tax ramifications. Um, so if I wish there was more time in a day to really sit down and learn all of the nuances in just estate planning and probate between consultations, between uh, working on plans, uh, reading the updates or proposals that are going through Congress, that are going through the state, learning all the little intricacies. There's so much to do in this practice area alone. This is just another red flag uh, for me. Number three, they are a member of a prepaid legal service offering. Now, for example, ARAG, I know when I started out, I was asked by numerous clients if I participated in these plans, and I never did. But after speaking to attorneys that did, what I really learned is these services are similar to how insurance companies work with doctors. Um, and what I mean by that is, let's say an estate plan out of pocket would normally cost $1,000 for the attorney to do things, but they've negotiated a rate with this service provider or this company, these prepaid services, where they may only be making $70, $80, $100 on an estate plan. So these services don't pay attorneys enough. So what's an attorney going to do? They're doing this on volume. They're not doing this on quality of work. Um, so most attorneys may rush through your file. They may not answer emails quickly. They 
um, may not, they're, they're, they're probably not going to give you as much time and dedicate the importance that every client deserves because they're not getting paid as much and they're trying to make it up on the back end. Um, and they're trying to do this over quantity of clients instead of valuing what they're doing um, and the quality of their work and letting their work speak for themselves and their, their customer service. Um, and there also is a likelihood of them missing uh, details or missing certain <clears throat> um, aspects of the estate plan here. Um, so that's something to look out for. Uh, I'm not saying these are bad attorneys, I'm just saying these are attorneys that can be very overwhelmed because they need to do as much work as possible in order to feed their families. Um, so, number four, your attorney is charging by the hour. Now, here at Campanile Law, and what I have always done is I charge estate planning as a flat fee. Probate will become a flat fee because I, as a consumer, we don't like uh, things on the back end. We don't want to know that we owe something at the end. We want to know that everything is taken care of. The other part of this, too, is that I want an open dialogue. I, I believe that an open dialogue and the client not worrying about this becoming a transaction or every time we speak or send an email is transactional. This is about relationship building. This is what's in your best interest at the end of the day. And let's think of this. If I'm charging you by the hour, am I going to work faster or slower on your plan? If I'm better or if I'm worse? Over time, I have become much better working on these plans. I have also become much faster working on these plans than where I was when I started out my firm. Also, attorneys who charge by the hour are going to elongate this process to get paid more because they need to justify or get to that number that they want to hit in order for it to be worthwhile for them. So think about it. There's going to be more phone calls. There could be longer phone calls. There could be more emails back and forth. You may show up to your attorney more. They may ask for more documentation. The list goes on and on because they're trying to get to that number in their head that they know that this was worth their while to do. The other thing that I pride myself on here is that, yes, we charge a flat fee and it's expensive up front, but at the end of the day, I want you, when you walk out with your binder and your estate plan, to feel that I have exceeded, that my value has exceeded what your expense was. And that is always the goal here, is that we pride our, I pride myself on the customer service, on the experience, and that my value exceeds what I am charging you at the end of the day. And number five is your estate planning attorney is a proponent and an advocate of testamentary trusts. I am not a big proponent of testamentary trusts. Um, and the reason for that is, number one, I feel this is a way for attorneys to collect money now because it's more work for them now in your estate plan, but also to collect money later because if something were to happen to you, now they have to go set up this trust and it's more money that they're collecting. So they're collecting more money on, both, on the front end and on the back end. I build a relationship. I pride myself on the relationship building that we have. I work with you. I stay in contact with my clients. And what I've learned over the years of doing this is by doing this, we're really prepared for anything that can happen or for most of what can happen. So there really isn't a need to prepare a testamentary trust because we have provided for a lot of different scenarios that can occur. And our estate plans are built for those scenarios. Um, and we're avoiding this back-end cost at the end. And by staying in contact, if new events occur, we are able to amend on the fly. What I see with testamentary trusts are it's really a ploy to just hand off the estate plan and for a reason for the attorney not to really stay in contact anymore because they feel they've covered their basis with this. Um, so this really would be just a red flag for relationship building. This is not an extensive list. I'm not here to you know, bash attorneys, other estate planning attorneys. These are just things that I've picked up on talking to financial planners, talking to accountants, you know, talking to clients, 
uh, just going out in the world and really, you know, uh, even speaking to other attorneys that just have kind of brought to my attention. Um, so if you see some of these things, if you see all of these things, these are red flags. Uh, and it doesn't hurt to ask questions uh, for the attorney, but definitely looking for an attorney that specializes and this is the only thing they do is going to be worthwhile and you're in the long run for you. I hope you found this video informative. If you did, hit that like button, head on over to YouTube, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we're also on Instagram and TikTok at njestateattorney.com. Uh, if you found this video informative and you know somebody who's contemplating estate planning or probate, please share this video with them. Uh, and if you have questions pertaining to this topic or any other topic in estate planning or probate and you want to schedule a free strategy session over the phone with me, head on over to njestateattorney.com to schedule a day and time that works best for you. As always, my name is David Campanile. I'm the owner of Campanile Law located in the state of New Jersey. We handle estate planning and probate.